What's going on guys? T-Mart here, and today I'm bringing you guys some Crisis 3 gameplay. Yes, that's right. So, uh, this game is brand new, it just came out today, and honestly, I am having so much fun playing this. It's just, it's so refreshing, it's just such a good change of pace from everything else that's going on in the gaming world right now, that it was much needed, and if you guys are looking for something different and you want to have a lot of fun, then this game is definitely, definitely worth your pickup. So, uh, anyway, what you're seeing in this gameplay right here is a combination of two weapons, number one of which is the Scarab Mod 2, which is just kind of like the entry level assault rifle that you're going to see a lot of people using if you're playing online today and it's just it's kind of like the one that's automatically unlocked for you and it's the entry level gun so you're seeing a little bit of that but then also I've got a special treat for you guys I've got the predator bow yes that's right so I bought the uh, the hunter edition special edition of the game so I automatically had the predator bow unlocked from the very start as soon as I put the disc in so I also get to use that and as you can see this thing is just crazy it's a lot of fun to use it's different than anything else you really see in first person shooters and it's just it's a blast so I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay but anyway yeah let's talk crisis because if you guys haven't played this game before you need to know that it's a lot of fun I mean I remember last year when crisis 2 came out me and all the YouTube guys like Woody, Onslaught, Bash, Bindro, Dunkus all those guys we all played the crap out of crisis 2 as soon as it came out because it was just it was such a nice change of pace especially for this time of year and and it looks like crisis 3 is going to be kind of the same thing I mean if you want something a little bit different this is your game so uh, as you can see crisis is a first-person shooter obviously but what makes it so different is your nano suit which is the suit you're wearing and this suit gives you abilities that you can use at any point in time so you have two main abilities one is your armor and two is invisibility and those are pretty obvious you can figure those out when you put your armor on you're more damage resistant so you're gonna need it's gonna take more bullets or more grenades or more explosives or whatever to kill you when you put invisibility on you turn nearly invisible you can still kind of spot people in their shadows and things but you turn nearly invisible to your enemies which obviously can give you a huge advantage now the thing is is you can use these abilities at any point in time you know you don't have to pick them up like in halo or something like that you can use them at any point in time by just pressing buttons but they have limited use. You'll run out of them. So if you look down in the bottom right part of your screen, you can see I've got two little bars there. One for armor, one for stealth. And, and when that bar runs out, then you can't use that ability anymore until it recharges. And it automatically recharges just as time passes, like after 5 seconds or 10 seconds or whatever. So, uh, yeah, this nano suit and these two abilities are really what changes up the way you play this game. Because you can't just run around and expect to just kind of rush people and get kills. You've got to be really strategic about it and think about when you want to use each ability because they're limited. And, and if you use them right, then you can really have a huge advantage over your enemies. So it's kind of like a first person shooter, but at the same time, it's kind of like a chess match because you got to think about when you want to use them, how you want to use them. And there's just, there's a million different ways to play the game. You can go around, you can be strictly stealthy and there's perks to make you more stealthy, or you can go around and try to be a tank and try to use the armor more and things like that. So uh, that's kind of what makes the game so much fun is just because you can play it in a million different ways. And there's so many different things you can do and so many different ways you can play that so that you'll not really get bored very easily. So uh, that's pretty cool. Now, another thing you can do with the nano suit is you can jump regularly, which is just kind of like jumping. You jump a couple feet up in the air. You don't really do much. You don't make much sound. Or you can do kind of like a power jump, and that's if you hold A or hold X if you're on the PS3 or whatever it is on PC, then you can jump higher. You jump probably two or three times as high, but you make a really loud sound when you do that. So when you power jump, you can get to areas that you wouldn't be able to get to before, but you're gonna queue off enemies that might be nearby that can hear you because they can hear you power jumping, they're gonna look up in the air, and, and they might be able to take you out. So again, that's just another kind of like chess match strategic decision that you're gonna have to make. I mean, should I power jump to get to this next area, or should I wait because an enemy might hear me and take me out? So uh, it's just, it's pretty interesting how that stuff works. Now, apart from the nano suit and the kind of different abilities that you can use, the rest of Crisis has some features that you're used to. So it's got like a creative class system where you can customize your weapons and put all kinds of different attachments on it which is a lot of fun and it's got that you know regular kind of unlock system where you have to use things and level up to get new things that's really addicting you know that keeps you involved in the multiplayer and wants you to uh, and makes you want to keep playing but uh, but also it's got a perk system and the perk system is a lot of fun as well because they've got kind of normal perks like something that'll reduce your hip fire 
or uh, or something that'll make your guns shoot faster like rapid fire or something that'll make you move faster but it's also got crazy stuff like there's a proximity alarm perk where when you get close to enemies it makes beeping noises which is kind of cool or uh, or there's even a bonus XP perk where it gives you extra bonus XP for every kill you get or every objective you do or whatever so I uh, like the first tier of it is 5% the second tier is 10% and then the third tier is 15% bonus XP which I think is a pretty cool idea for a perk but uh, anyway yeah that's just basically crisis 3 I mean uh, as you guys see it's it's a first-person shooter it's a lot of fun it's kind of similar to a lot of things we've seen before but at the same time it's just got so many different variations in it that it makes it a really fun game to play and it just gives you so many different ways to play it that you'll never really get bored of it too quickly so I highly recommend it if you guys want to check it out make sure you do go out and get it today if you can it's a, it's a lot of fun now if you guys want a couple of tips for the game I can give you guys just some basic tips there are two huge tips that uh, that you want to make sure you do so number one and this is easily for people who are new to the crisis series this is easily the biggest tip for you guys just make sure you're using your abilities make sure you're using your armor and your invisibility sometimes you can just kind of get lost in the game and get too kind of tunnel visioned on killing people that you forget that you can turn invisible whenever you want or you can become like a tank whatever you want so make sure you remember to use those and get in the habit of using those and then also the second one is try to get in the habit of every time you get in a gunfight switch on your armor ability so you know every time somebody starts shooting at you just press that left bumper or whatever it is on ps3 or pc and automatically put your armor on and then start shooting back because that way you're gonna have more health you're gonna be able to win more gunfights and and that should help you out there's actually a perk that does that for you it's called auto armor it automatically turns it on when you start getting shot at but if you can train yourself to do it by yourself then you eliminate the need for that perk and you can use that slot for something else that is of more value to you so uh, anyway guys hope you guys Guys enjoyed the video you may see some more crisis 3 on my channel either today or tomorrow so I don't know we'll see but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and then also make sure to go check out my crisis 3 let's play over on my second channel there's gonna be an annotation on screen for you guys to click there so I uh, thank you all for watching catch you all later peace